Today we're going to be working with these connectors and they come with a boot, strain relief, and an adapter. The adapter is for a 250 micron fiber, which is the fiber that you would find in a loose tube. Um, we are not going to be working with that kind of fiber, so we'll push that off to the side. We're going to be working with a 900 micron multi-mode fiber. These connectors, as I can see by the color, are aqua. Aqua means that they are a 50 micron, 125 cladding, which is OM3 or OM4 fiber connectors. Uh, unfortunately, the fiber that I sent with you is 62.5 fiber. So this is OM1. So what we're going to need to do is you're going to need to cut the end just enough that you can get a hold of a fiber. Pull one of the fibers out. I pulled the white one out. So we're going to connect the 62.5 fiber to the 50 micron connector. It's just highly not recommended, but we're going to be doing this for the process of just going through the steps. Uh, when we're done, we'll just do a continuity test. We're not going to be testing it for loss uh, because we would get excessive loss with this connecting a larger core, 62.5, to a smaller core, 500 mic or 50 micron. So again, we're just doing this for the process. You've got the fiber and the connectors. We're going to go through that process and how that works. Okay, so first things first, I want to make sure that I have my offcut tape. You can see up here at the top of the screen, my offcut tape is right here. Just get yourself a piece of electrical tape, set it up here out of the way. Um, and then I'm going to take a look at the instructions and the instructions say that we need to strip off to probably 35 millimeters. So I'm going to strip off to approximately right there. I'm going to get my fiber stripper, and I'm going to strip off that much. Again, I want to make sure that I strip off about a half inch at a time. Don't strip off too much. Okay. Again, I'm holding my handles where the curved handle goes towards my fingers. I'm holding it at about a 45 degree angle away from me so I can see the actual fiber go into the slot. I'm going to squeeze it just enough that I can feel it pinch through the jacket and I'm going to pull the fiber. Now this one I didn't get the uh, tool squeezed down hard enough and I just pulled the fiber completely off. So we can take this and just stick it on our offcut tape out of the way and try it again. Again I want to squeeze just through the jacket, pull the fiber out and now you can see the little piece of fiber there. Okay, so I'm going to keep doing that, taking off just the white jacket and now that I got about an inch, I'm going to pull off all of that tight buffer. You can see that white that plastic stuff gets stripped off. And I'm going to strip off some more here. Again, no more than about a half inch at a time. Oh, so as I pulled it, the fiber broke, which happens. So now I'm going to take this piece of fiber, put it on my offcut tape. And I'm going to keep stripping away. And it looks like this fiber is being difficult. I'm taking too much at a time. That means i got to take a little less every time. So I'm going down to about just over a quarter inch at a time. So you might have to make that adjustment depending on how your fiber is and your tools are. Oh, dang it, I almost had it. Fair enough. Try it again. About a quarter inch. I'm getting a little too zealous trying to take too much off at once. I 
minus 34. I'm gonna double check, see where I'm at. And that looks like I'm pretty close. Okay, so again, you're gonna pull off about 35 millimeters and make sure it's clean. Get a little alcohol on my and free cloth and in my fiber so it's squeaky clean. Okay, one of the tools that were included was a manual cleaver. So this manual cleaver you can see has two parts here, two levers. This lever right here has an actual sharp cleaver right here where my finger is. And that's what's going to actually cleave or score the glass at that particular mark and we're gonna bend this and it will bend the fiber and break it at that particular part, nice clean cleave. The other part here you can see with my finger that I'm pinching opens up the spot where we can hold the fiber in place at the specific point where we want it cut. So the instructions say for these I need to cleave it at 10.5 millimeters. So at the 10 and a half millimeter mark. So I'm gonna place my fiber in. See if I can zoom in a little bit more here. And I'm going to open up my tool. I'm going to slide it in until the white part of the jacket is at the ten and a half mark. So right there. Then I'm going to Okay, so you can see the white part is at the 10 and a half. Okay, right there is my 10 and a half. And my fiber is trapped inside there. It's trapped by this little lever right here. Okay, when I'm ready, I hold it sideways like this. I'm going to hold the, the fiber in that little tray where the numbers are. And I'm going to push down on this. And at the exact same time that this hits the fiber, I'm going to bend the fiber. Okay, ready? There it is. So now we have a perfectly, if you can see the fiber right there, we have a perfect length. There it is. We have a perfect length fiber to be able to put that in the connector. Before I forget, I'm going to open this up and grab the piece of fiber out and put that in the off-cut tape. Next, I'm going to make sure that my connector is put together properly. I want to make sure that if I mess with it by squeezing this, and that is loose, though I need to push that back in all the way, squeeze it in. So pushed all the way in. Okay, this is where I get to use the visual fault locator. And I'm going to now take the dust cap off, and I'm going to get the visual fault locator. That's this tester right here. Push and hold it so it goes on. And you're going to push that button again until you see the numbers here. Read VFL. And then the light should pop on. So there's the light. Okay, I'm going to put the connector in. All the way in, and you can see the light only goes this far because that's the end of the fiber that's already inside this pre polished connector. I'm now going to take my fiber, I'm going to slide it in again. Make sure your boot is on, don't forget the boot. Okay, I'm going to slide the fiber in there. And you can see that the light disappears here and now it's coming out the other end. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to push on this and as you see as I push on it the light disappears. As I'm putting a little pressure on it you can see I'm bending the fiber just a little bit. I'm going to 
puts just a little bit of pressure on it, bending it, I'm going to squeeze the end. And now my fiber should be stay in there. If I pull, just pull on a little bit, it should stay. Pull it out. Move my boot all the way up to the top. And now I have a completed end. I'm going to do that for the other side. And then what I want you to do is put your fiber in. You can see the light coming out the other end. But if I were to bend the fiber in a particular spot, you can see the light start escaping through the cladding, come off the jacket, and you pinch it all the way. I just broke it. This is why they call this a visual fault locator, because now I have an actual break in my fiber that I can see. I can't really see that there's a break in the fiber. Obviously, there's a little kink right there, but it might be hard to see. But if I plug in a visual fault locator, I now can see the light escaping, and that's where my fault is. So I'd have to cut it here, put a new end on. That's what you want to try for this lab.